A, is that I'm, that I'm actually alive. Um, but I'm also, I, 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 I do beat myself up uh, um, from time to time about, you know, why it took me so long uh, once I knew that, 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 that I was HIV positive, why it took me so long to, to really start uh, em, em, embracing um, the, the, the whole uh, physical package and the whole psychological package about um, bettering myself. Actor Charlie Sheen tries to explain his strange and risky behavior over the years to Dr. Oz in today's second installment of their in-depth interview, The Good Doc, live in New York. What, what's in it for Charlie Sheen, who is probably one of the most self-absorbed people you'll ever meet? Well, we all have people in our lives that are metaphorically like Charlie Sheen, people who are actually clever in some ways but make big mistakes in others. And understanding how he got to where he is now and, and, and how to transform, you know, the redemption that's required, that's mandatory for him to live the rest of his life is, is the bigger story here. But take today's show, he, he went off his medications, his HIV yeah. medications that have actually worked pretty well for him. And he did, in part, because he was being treated by an alternative medicine doctor based out of Mexico who promised him something that I'm very skeptical about and I try to do my homework on it. But, you know, I promised Charlie we would tell his story, warts and all, as he makes his mistakes and as he fixes things in his life. And this is a major turning point. Uh, you know, we have to be able to get him back on his meds. Uh, and he's been able to fix other things in his life. He yeah. stopped drinking, which is a big deal for addicts. So there's a tug of war here. Uh, New York Post says that you have signed on to be his medical mentor. Now, y you know I love you, but that's almost like signing up to be the weight loss mentor for Oprah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not his doctor, and I'm not his medical mentor. What I agreed to do was to expose him to doctors and institutions that I trust. I sent him to the Scripps Institute, that renowned HIV research facility in Southern California. I've, uh, I've turned him on to, to doctors, sometimes in the alternative space, like acupuncturists that maybe can help with his cigarette addiction, which he still has. But he's his own man, and he's going to make his own decisions. And like most people, uh, it's not about the facts it's actually more about the emotion. People don't change based on what they know. They change based on how they feel. I have to help Charlie feel differently about what he's going through. And one of the ways of doing that is to move from chasing the cure for HIV, which is what he signed up right. for, to chasing the cure for Charlie, which is what I think needs to happen. The behaviors that lead to these mistakes that, they, that he reproducibly makes, they have a root somewhere. And one tip that he gave me uh, on the show this afternoon, and you'll see it's sort of, I'm curious what people think. I took him to an autopsy. I wanted to show him what death really looks like because he's been kicking the door to death for a long time. And he acknowledged that part of it might be when he was 10 years of age, he went to visit his father, Martin Sheen, on the set of Apocalypse Now. And his father had had a heart attack, just had open heart surgery, by the way, over the holidays. And so his facing the potential death of his father at that young age uh, exposed a lot of other very emotional issues for him. And that's where you start to see real transformation in people. It, did, did you kind of, as you were talking to him, and he's bright, he's good looking, he's successful, he's talented, he's got everything, he just apparently doesn't know that. Did, were you kind of flashing back to your days in uh, the psychiatric rotation as a medical student, trying to figure out w what's the diagnosis here? I, it's, it's interesting that you bring it up that way. That's exactly how I phrased it to him. I've got to go beyond the HIV diagnosis that everyone's focused on now to the deeper issues. Listen, there's demons outside of us, and those are actually the easier ones to manage. It's the demons inside of us that all of us have, by the way. I think Charlie is sure. just a great example of a, you know, a well-tuned machine who went bad. And everyone can hear that the motor's not working well. Um, but you've got to shift it into gear and get back going. And all of us have those demons, and all of us get up in the middle of the night with bad thoughts once in a while. Charlie uses gambling, drugs, sex, yeah. other tactics to cope like so many people do, that's the transformation that I think all of us in our own lives, in our families, and maybe in Charlie's case, want to see. The interesting thing about Charlie is people actually care about him. Despite all of his flaws, there's something about him that you sort of want to yeah. root for because you want to see him redeemed. Exactly. And Dr. Oz peers into the strange mind of Charlie Sheen today. You can go along on that journey with him today at 2 o'clock here on Fox 4. Thank you so much for joining us.